I honestly am very surprised at the number of people that do not understand eternal return. So in this video, I will try to be as clear and concise as possible in explaining eternal return. Now here we have a timeline with the year 1 to 2023 marked. And here we can add the ages to a timeline. So we have the Middle Ages marked, the Renaissance, after the Renaissance. So we see that the timeline goes, starts at 1 and goes up to 2023. So this is an example of a very standard timeline you might find in a history textbook or something of this sort. Um, here we have another timeline with the prehistoric periods marked. So we have the Triassic period when dinosaurs roamed, the Jurassic period, the Cretaceous period, and um, the afterwards. So this timeline goes from 251 million BC to 2023 AD. So this is another example of a timeline. So the theories of eternal return are very simple and anyone can understand them if you pay attention. So here we have another timeline and we're going to mark your life on the timeline. And we're just going to say, for argument's sake, your life goes from zero to a hundred years. So your life is this section in the timeline we have just marked. And now let's say, for argument's sake, that you you are going to pass away when you are finished your life and you're going to spend eternity in heaven. So heaven goes on for infinity. So we have now marked heaven on the timeline. And as your life in heaven approaches infinity, that just means it goes on forever and ever and ever. So here we have your life, and next is heaven, all on the timeline. And now we are going to mark this point here. We're going to mark a arbitrary point in heaven. And we're going to say that in forever and ever you pass an octodecillion years. So this is an octodecillion. This is 10 to the power 57. So let us say that you will at some point pass this number of years in heaven. Now right away you're probably thinking, you know, isn't that a little coincidental that I'm in my life from zero to a hundred years, when at some point you will pass all this time in heaven, this octodecillion. So, um, and we, we know this is just uh, one of the points we could mark. We could mark a point that was a trillion times bigger than an octodecillion. So we can keep marking more and more years. So that is the power of infinity. It goes on and on. And the conclusion we come to is that your life is insignificantly small to infinity. So you shouldn't be in the period from zero to a hundred. If you're going to start at zero and go to way past an octodecillion, you should be in the larger period 
of the timeline. You should be in the infinite part. So we have a finite part, which is your life, and an infinite part, which is all of heaven. So you should end up being already in the infinite part. It's too coincidental that you're in the zero to a hundred part when you've got all this time to live out in heaven and it just goes on for infinity. So whether a time is short or long, it always goes by. So the hundred years that is your life should have already passed. Now we're looking at this timeline from an objective perspective. So this is saying that you could be anywhere on the timeline from an objective perspective. So let's say for argument's sake, that the Big Bang happened 13.8 billion years ago. So we marked that on this timeline. We've marked your 100 year life. And we're gonna mark the same point in octodecillion years. So right away we see it is too coincidental that you are in your 100 year life when all this time will pass and time will approach infinity. So the conclusion we come to is that this timeline doesn't just approach infinity and go off to nowhere. The conclusion we come to is that the timeline of your life or your lifeline, as I call it, because I believe in a scientific idea of souls, will repeat and you will end up at some point, however distant in the future, repeating your 100 year life. So if the whole timeline is finite, then we can exist in the 100 year life. If the timeline is infinite, then it's too impossible to exist in the 100 year life because time will simply go on for infinity. So we, we should be already in the infinite part of the timeline. So I have shown that you cannot be in your hundred year life if time is infinite unless your hundred year life repeats. So the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. And there you have eternal life, simple and concise as always. Thank you for watching.